The hoes gonna love this. Wait, let me make sure I'm recording. Okay, let's get welcome to my YouTube channel, you guys. My name is Kiara Shade. Like, sh money because I get to the social media sh money. But today, we're going to be talking about three reasons why you should not date as a new entrepreneur. And I know it's going to make some of y'all mad. But listen, I'm going through the heartbreak right now as we speak for you so that you don't have to. So stay tuned and let's get it. All right, you guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I know I'm smiling on the outside, but on the inside, I am fucking crushed, okay? <laughs> I made a video vlog yesterday or last night of the heartache and the pain that I'm going through right now. Um, just because I wanted to try something different outside of, I mean, we've all had our hearts broken before, right? And for me, like this was just, if you watch my last video that I posted, when I talked about me not living up to my worth, like I'm not living my worth. I'm not living the life that God has planned for me and how that hit me. I don't know how to do it because I just did my makeup and it's the beginning of the day. And I'm in Tampa and it, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go out looking good. You know what I'm saying? You know? So I hope I don't cry. But um, the, the crazy thing is that the year is ending. You know, it's December now. And a lot of us start to analyze and reevaluate our lives and where we are. And it's been hitting me more and more. It's so dusty. It's been hitting me more and more that I am not living up to the life that I pray for, to the life that I desire, to the life that I dream about, and to the life that God has planned for me. And a lot of that has to do with the decisions that I make and the decisions um, or the actions that I choose to do. And that includes the people that I keep around me or even let into my life. So today I want to talk about three reasons why you should not date as a new entrepreneur. So for me, I would consider a new entrepreneur anybody who's been in business for three years or less. So that is a new entrepreneur to me. Um, you don't really have your footing yet. Um, so many things can come and knock you off your rockers. Like those are the hardest years. Like most businesses fail within the first five years. So I would even go as far as to say like it's really dangerous to be dating people um, the first five years of business, especially if you are not completely healed. So let's get started. Number one reason why you should not date anybody as a new entrepreneur is heartbreak. That is the number one reason. If things don't go out as planned, how are you going to continue to show up for your business through the midst of a heartbreak? Because for me, it has been really, 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 really hard. As much as I coach, fight through that shit, like, as much as I, you know, scream and shout, you got to figure it out, get out your feelings, take your emotions out of your business. It's hard as a woman, especially when you want something so bad. So for me, I'm 37, right? With two children, one will be 12 and the other one is 13. I'm ready to finally settle down, right? I've done, I've had my share of good men, but I wasn't ready to settle down when I was with them. Now I'm finally ready to settle down. And so this is something that I desire a lot. And so it made me very vulnerable, right? It made me very vulnerable to finding a person, finding a relationship. But when things didn't go out as I desired them to, it put me in a stint because my heartbreak was becoming was coming before my business. Like, and for a lot of you women who are watching this, y'all know what I mean. Men know how to compartmentalize things. They're really good at compartmentalizing things. They could be going through hell on the inside and they can still show up for their business. For women... It's a little bit different. So I wouldn't recommend you doing dating, not dating seriously, at least like on a couple dates, you know what I'm saying? With, you know, 
a few men here and there. All right, cool. But dating seriously, in the beginning of your entrepreneurship journey, when you're the solopreneur, you're doing everything. You're answering the emails. You're creating the products. You're the face of the brand. You have to show up and go live. You got to post all the content. You got to do everything so that if something is wrong with you and your mental, you cannot show up fully the way that you need to. I don't recommend it, sis. I do not recommend it. Number one, heartbreak. It's not easy to deal with, especially when you got all the other things of business that you got to deal with. Like, leave, put it on, put it, put it in the fridge, save it for later. As a matter of fact, put it in a deep freezer because it'll last longer there. Save that desire for later and just kind of, you know, tread lightly on the dating scene while you're building your business. Once you get to that three, four year mark, especially five year mark, you kind of got to handle on things. You've got assistance, you've got a team, you've got other people that can handle things if things don't go the way that they could or that you desire. That's number one. Number two, most people who are not entrepreneurs or who have not been an entrepreneur, like if you're going to date somebody that's not an entrepreneur, they don't understand the journey and the time commitment that it's going to take from you to put into your business in the beginning. And here's what I mean. In the beginning, we're up late. Sometimes we fall asleep with the computer in the bed, the iPad in the bed. We fall asleep to YouTube videos. One of y'all probably in the bed right now asleep listening to this. <laughs> but <laughs> I ain't judging you. I be doing it too. I, when I first started my business, maybe like a month after I started my business, I started dating this guy. And I would have to like cancel dates on him because I would forget that I had to host a live or I had to host a training or I would just, you know, lose track of time from working on my business. And I felt really bad because he's a really, really good guy. And we're friends now to this day. He's a super good, dope guy, but he's not an entrepreneur. So he didn't understand like, OK, I said we're going to have Tuesdays and Saturdays off for us. When Tuesday and Saturday get here, I'm like, yeah, I'm still working. You know, so it's very hard for somebody who's not in that space to understand your journey, to see your vision. Most of the time, we are the only ones that see our vision. Most of the time, we have to put ourselves in rooms, place ourselves in rooms with people who think like us, who are going through the same things. And usually, it's not the person that you're dating. If it is, the both of y'all are not going to have time for each other. If you do find somebody who really gets what you're going through and understands what you're going through your goals and everything it's probably because they're doing the same thing and if they're new to entrepreneurship themselves y'all not gonna have time for each other so it's kind of like a waste of time to try to pursue a relationship seriously in the first three to five years of starting a business i mean that's just my that's just my thoughts like in my experience okay and then number three um the pool is going to be very slim, right? Because you're, you've are you expanded your mind on a level of wanting more for yourself. So you're investing in personal development. You're investing in the classes, the courses. You're spending your last dime on, you know, putting into your business. And to be able to, again, find somebody that's attractive, uh, number one. That's number one for me. I don't know if I'm supposed to be like that, but at this point, I've concluded that God doesn't, God's not going to put me with a partner that's not attractive to me. Like, that's a lot of our problems. We be settling. Like, at that point, just be by yourself. Just, and I know it's not easy, easier said than done, right? Especially as we get older, we desire relationships, especially being on social media, where everybody kissing and you don't really want to see that shit because you ain't got nobody to, mm, or the situation that you fucking with is just situational. But the pool is just very slim and it can get frustrating. And again, you got other things that you need to be focused on, right? So until you've reached that mark of being able to have that extra time because you can pull yourself out of the business and then you can really like see what's out there and dedicate the time to certain people to really see what they about so ain't nobody getting over on you um i just feel like you should just fall back like i said going on going to dinner with somebody or meeting up with somebody for a drink or coffee or whatever all right that's cool but to be 
really looking at dating somebody seriously in the first three years of entrepreneurship, I just think is an epic, epic fail. Am I saying there's not an exception? Never. Nothing that I say on this channel or ever speak out of my mouth do I say that it's a never and that there's no exception to what I'm saying. Yes, there are people who start dating and entrepreneurship and you first year or whatever, first few months, and they have successful relationships, get married, etc. blah, 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 blah. Yes, there are people. Is it common? No. No. So one of the two are going to suffer. It's either going to be your business or it's going to be the relationship. So I just really think that you shouldn't be trying to pursue a relationship in the first three years of business. You should be focusing on your business. And although people like Kevin Samuels and other shit like that say that men don't care about women's money and blah, 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 you should care about your money. Go! Because what you supposed to do until your paid husband come be broke? That's <gasps> the part I don't understand, like... Why do men think we out here getting money to attract them? Very much girl tendencies. But where we do make the mistake at is, you know, blabbing that off to a nigga like it's a quality life. Nigga, I make six figures. I got my own business. and that, Now, they don't care about that. But I really do think it is up to you to care about not being broke until that man comes. Being able to sustain yourself and live the life that you dream of financially um before that man gets here because man, you might be called the singlehood what if you're called to being single you know what you're supposed to do be broke until ever like forever but anyway those are the three reasons why i feel like you should not date seriously or you should not be pursuing a relationship rather um until after at least after your third year in business when you really gotta hold on things when you've got a team when you've got other people besides yourself that has that can show up for the business for you while you take the time out to really give a person the time that they need while you really take the time out to give yourself the time that you need to get to know a person person's true intentions um why you can take the time out to heal like a lot of us are not healing we're going from person to person to person and then we don't heal and then if something goes bad in that relationship which nine times out of ten it's gonna go bad because you're not healed so guess who you're gonna attract another unhealed person um it just gets messy so my best advice is just focus on you Focus on what you're supposed to be doing. Focus on your purpose. Focus on your calling. Put your head down. And when the time is right, you will know. Um, and it'll probably be well after you have a handle on your business. So somebody might be asking, is there a chance to find love as an entrepreneur then? Like as a black woman? Because as I know you see it. It just seems like a lot of black entrepreneurs, unless they was already married, it seems like they can't keep a man. Like, black female entrepreneurs, it seems like they can't keep a man because they're, like, too strong or they make too much money or whatever it is. But it just really seems like that. But I truly believe, yes, you can find true love as an entrepreneur. And that's something that God wants for you. But I think a lot of black women, black female entrepreneurs do not heal. And they try to use their businesses as coping mechanisms instead of going to therapy, going to counseling, speaking it out doing the journaling, right? doing the vlog, right? I made a vlog last night. Instead of journaling, I, I made a vlog and I spoke to the camera about what I was going through, tears and all, because I want to be able to look back on that and look at what I was going through so I can avoid it again. When you don't document your journey, you continue to make the same mistakes over and over and over and over and over again. I guarantee I watched this video and I continue to remind myself and keep watching this video, I'm not going through that shit no more because writing is different from a video. I could write all day, my heart was broken, but the times that my heart have been broken, I've never I've never really detailed journal about it. I wanted a detailed video. It's about a 17 minute long video and I was trying to decide whether or not I was gonna put it on YouTube, but it's a bit personal, so I'm not gonna put it on YouTube because I use names, situations and everything. So it's a little too personal. Maybe I'll talk about it, especially right now because I'm, I'm not healed. This moon is wide open. So maybe I'll create another video about it later, excluding names. And after I'm healed enough to talk about it without crying the whole video, but I think there's a chance. It's just that we've got to do certain things first that we need to do. A lot of times we 
think that people are doing good because we see them on social media stunting in their Maserati <laughs> and they diamonds and they drip and going on their vacations when really that's just a coy and a cop out to cover up the fact that they're not healed. So that's that. The next question um, you're probably asking, well, when should you date? So as I stated, you can date. Go out on a date. But keep your heart out of it. Ooh, that song. Kind of harsh, but keep your heart out of it. Keep your heart out of it. Date, have some fun, get out the house, whatever. They should be friends. Like, just treat them as friends. It shouldn't be no kissing, no mucking, no... You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be none of that to the point where now you start to put your heart in it and your emotions start falling through because I don't know, sis. Go back and watch the rest of the video. Um, When you do start dating, how do you date? Multiple men? Like three, four, five. All of them. Because you're not taking it seriously either anyway and, and you should let them know too. Like, you ain't the only one. And then last, who should you date when you start dating? Who you want? <laughs> and only who you want. I don't believe in, I used to believe in this. I used to believe in dating the nice guy or the guy who's, you know, he's not so attracted. I don't believe in that no more because you know what? At the end of the day, the guy that you are not that attracted to is not the one. You're going to walk all over him. You're going to disrespect him. You ain't going to like him. Like, date who you want. The way that men date who they want. <laughs> Period. Pooh. Date only who you want. Exactly who you want and only who you want. And that's it. So, my name is Kira Shade. I hope this video gave you some insight on where to place your priorities, right? Um, be in a relationship with God. Work on strengthening your relationship with God right now in this time, in this hour. Don't put your business above God. Don't put a man above God. Don't put your desire for a relationship, marriage, a family, any of that above God. Pursue God first, right? That's biblical, right? It says, seek first the kingdom and all these things shall be added onto you. I really feel like seek first the kingdom includes your purpose. Seek first your purpose and everything else will be added onto you. Don't, don't put your purpose on the back burner in the freezer because you found a guy, a nice guy who might this, he might work and blah, 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 blah. Stay head focused, stay strong. Um, and, you know, after those few years, then you open up and maybe your knight in shiny armor will appear. Um, other than that, if y'all agree with me or don't agree with me, I would like to hear y'all comments on this. So make sure you comment um, below and share this with a friend. Subscribe. Okay. And other than that, I will holler at you next week. Peace.